what's up everybody it's been a while uh quite a good while actually so welcome back to the channel uh i'm gonna do a quick little rundown I'm not doing a whole lot today uh just gonna give you all a little update on the truck itself and uh it's been sitting everybody's been asking you know where's the truck at are you coming to the next shootout uh we ran into a few issues charge temps truck is pulling a lot of timing and pretty much just falling flat on its face about about three four hundred foot out uh I'm pulling a lot of time and the last log i did i think it dropped down to 11 degrees of timing or something like that about 350 feet uh definitely not good losing a lot of power uh 10 degrees of timing we're probably losing 250 300 horsepower i don't know uh, but it's losing a lot it's falling on its face so it's just no point to keep running it to death uh, until we fix those issues so i ordered a killer chiller i uh, didn't want to do an ice tank because it is a daily driver uh, so we ordered the killer chiller and we got the the upgraded drag valve uh, communication with this company kincaid is terrible uh, I waited weeks for a response, finally got it on order, waited months for the parts. Uh, I do have the parts sitting here in front of me. I'll show y'all what we got, uh, but it is missing the drag valve. So I sent them an email. Uh, it took about three weeks for them to email me back. And they said they were going to drop ship the drag valve. Uh, of course, it's been a couple weeks now. Still don't have it. Uh, so we still can't do the install. So I'll show y'all what we got pulled this truck apart uh, quite a few months ago actually uh, to do a, an LED video for a company so we went ahead and did that video and we left the truck pretty much the way you see it and it's been sitting here ever since uh, I left it apart because it was going to be easier for me to do this uh, and then I could just pull the heat exchanger out and then tie the killer chiller system into that bottom tank right there so i just left it apart because I'm, I'm tired of just taking it apart and putting it back together but today uh the suburban that i'm usually driving back there decided to throw a check engine code uh, which is an oil pressure sensor no big deal but i just don't want to drive it i was gonna hook the skis up to it take them out to the bay and uh i just don't like driving stuff with check engine codes flashing all over the place so we're actually going to use the Smurf truck. Uh, I got to put it back together, which I didn't want to do. But we're going to put it back together, and then I'm going to go hook the skis up. It's 4th of July weekend. So we're going to enjoy ourselves and uh, not worry too much about all this stuff. But I want to show you all what I got. So this is the package it came in. Uh, I haven't really done much with it besides pull it apart to find missing parts. Uh, it comes with all your instructions, directions. Looks pretty simple. Uh, this kit... It's going to run you about 1100 bucks. Uh, like I said, it's been a real pain in the butt getting it here, and it's still not a complete kit. So, I'm not extremely happy, but it's out of my control. And to be honest with you, all the obstacles I've gone through with this truck, it's not that surprising. So, a couple fittings, uh, hose clamps, like I said, nothing real fancy here. And then the actual core itself, uh, I'm not going to. Well, I guess I can't pull it out for y'all. Alright, got that out. Sorry, I had to put it on pause. Uh, this is the actual core itself. You can see it right there. Like I said, nothing real fancy. And then you're pretty much just going to tie your, your AC into that. And then you're going to tie your, your coolant line in. They give you some T's so you can tee everything off. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it because I've never messed with AC lines and, and this type of fittings. Uh, so I'm going to get a shop to do it, but like I said, I've got to wait on the parts. And then whenever that stuff comes in, uh, probably going to have to take it out to Maryland. Uh, nobody really wants to do the install around here. Living in Virginia trying to build a street truck is uh, it's been a challenge. Uh, it's just not a, a great state for... Uh, vehicles or street trucks i guess uh for me anyways all the fast guys are out in texas uh which i think i just talked to uh the man himself the goat manuel gomez uh he's putting on a, a shootout or an event out there in texas in september so hopefully i can get this truck ready and uh maybe take a road trip 
towards the end of the year, September, maybe go take a road trip, see a bunch of cool trucks. So definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, if y'all got a cool truck or car, there's going to be cars there too as well. Uh, definitely go check it out. It's Midnight Performance. They're putting on an event. Can't remember what track, but it's going to be a no prep event out there in Texas. So looking forward to that. Hopefully we get it ready. But now we're going to put this truck back together and uh, use it for what I originally bought it for. It's a, it's a daily driven truck. So we're going to put it back together, hook some skis up. And uh, I'll definitely keep y'all posted as well on this killer chiller. A lot of people have been asking me about it. I posted it for sale. Just, I'm frustrated with everything. So I'll sell anything, right? For the right price, I'll sell anything. And uh, the whole truck can go really for the right money. The whole truck can go. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. So we'll do this as volume one. Once I get everything, uh, all the parts here installed, we'll do a volume two. And I'll give you all... You, you know a fair update on what I actually think about this uh, this setup this part uh, seems like Kincaid knows what they're doing uh, like I said so far I'm not impressed uh, the customer service sucks so 1100 bucks you get a couple hoses a couple fittings and whatever the hell this thing is gonna do so like I said I'll keep y'all updated right now I'm gonna put this truck back together and uh, go hook some go have some fun on the water peace